Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tendi Chess and welcome back to Razer Random SCP Review. This is Random SCP Review episode 16, I would say, or the 16th entry or SCP that we will be discussing today. Um, before we actually start, I want to I want to say that I haven't been recording about SCP in about a month or so, but yeah, there's that. Um, I might be a little bit uh, sound different from the previous one, and that's about it, I guess. Um, but I will still be discussing just the same as previously as well. I will try not to um, have this one more than 30 minutes. I would try my best not to, and yeah. Uh, probably I will just read, and then I will try to comment about that. Comment about this SCP in the, um, you know, towards the end of the video, basically, right? Um, and yeah, I guess we are now here in the random number generator over here, as you can see. And I will generate the SCP number that we will be discussing. I guess I will press this three times and just um, pick the number that uh, appear, right? Out of 1 to 7,000. So yeah, one, two, and three, and that's it. Uh, SCP number four six six nine. Um, I guess that's what we are trying to discuss today, and I will be right back. Okay, here we are in the SCP Wiki uh, website, I guess, and as you can see, this is SCP four six six nine over here. It is called Nuestra Señora de la Revolución Popular. Okay, um, I think it's Spanish. I'm not sure. But by the looks of things, I think this is Spanish. Um, be just because the word "senora" over here, which means um, um, "sir," I think, or "ma'am," I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, or you know, Mister or Missus, right? But yeah, anyway, this is SCP four six six nine Nuestra Senora de la Revolution, uh, Revolution, and popular and I guess we just jump straight into it uh, for 669 okay um, also I don't know how long this will be oh by the looks of things it seems like it will be a long SCP so yeah I might have to actually um, I think I might have to divide this into several parts because yeah it's just as, uh, as you can see over here it keeps going right um a lot of stuff oh there is also access file over here um which will probably go into another page or just uh will you know unroll another reading right um but yeah uh i guess we'll start this will probably be a three-parter scp review um i guess there's that okay scp4669 or uh, what is it called again? Nuestro Señora de la Revolución Popular. Um, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, but yeah, uh, there is no picture though. As I scrolled, I didn't see any picture. So yeah, there is that. Um, anyway, item SCP-4669. Object class is considered as Kitter, okay? Or Kader. Uh, I don't know. I still don't know how to pronounce Kitter or Kader, but yeah. Uh, special containment procedures recorded instances of uh, dash one are to be removed and scrubbed. All witnesses of 4669 or dash one instances are to be administered class B amnestics and undergo continuous monitoring. Okay, so all the witness as well as the dash one instances. Um, since there will since they will be administered by amnestics. I would presume that this one, uh, the 4669-1, um, usually I just call that dash one just to, um, you know, uh, SCP-1 basically, right? Uh, the dash one is probably human, right? Um, or human that got affected by the effect of 4669. But yeah, all instances of dash two are to be terminated, okay? Uh, there's that. Um, anything that can be terminated, I mean anything actually um it can be objects it can also be human as well so there's that right but yeah I a little bit interesting as well because dash one is just um given amnestics while dash two are terminated right uh, but yeah 
SP4669 is an Epsilon level priority. Um, MTF Epsilon 58 Sound of the Police is currently tasked with applied response. MTF U58 or Epsilon 58 is to only employ employ individuals who score under um, minus 65 on the Cohen um, Winberg compassion scale and maintain strict anti-collectivist morals and values. No other individuals are allowed contact with DAS2 instances. Um, okay, so DAS2 is something that should not be interacted with, but also DAS2 will be terminated. Okay, that's interesting. Also, as you can see over here, this one, the Cohen Weinberg Compassion Scale, it has a um, a footnote of number one, which will be at the very bottom. I will not actually go there just yet. I will actually read that at the very end of the review, and that's about it. Um, container procedures will be modified once 4669 is once again brought, uh, brought into containment. Currently, containment efforts focus on minimi minimization of the effects of Marcos events and the termination of DAS2 instances. And there is another uh, footnote over there, which is footnote number two. Interesting. Pending edit. Uh, insert cred credentials here. Okay, I will actually press this. If it brings me to somewhere else or it shows something I shouldn't see, I will actually cut that. Uh, but yeah. Um, okay, so apparently this is just uh, something, right? Uh, might as well just read this just because um, it is there, right? It is just above the description anyway, so might as well read uh, inside as well, right? Um, okay, what was it called again? Insert credentials here, okay? So this is pending edit, okay? Uh, her red right hand to plague us um, and then sorts of number as well as uh, characters there which is again interesting as usual but I don't know what any of those means right um, hello 056 chrome 4.2 has logged on uh, chrome what is chrome c-r-o-m oh it's c-rom right uh, rom is probably the rom the the one to save memories probably um, and then c I'm not sure what c means like cyber I don't know what uh, that means but yeah uh, what follows are the oh I see C is probably oh for here right um okay uh what follows are the proposed amendments to the containment procedures of four six six nine as proposed by O five nine and Doctor Cartwright the vote will occur in twenty five minutes okay um oh never mind then uh, I thought that this was Cartwright. Uh, card right rom uh, but that's apparently not the case also i'm not aware or i'm not sure who 056 uh, is um what i know is that 05 means basically it's like the highest uh position i would say like the uh what is it called again the um uh, i kind of forgot what it's called like um canonically but I will consider that as managers, right? The one or the directors, basically the one at the very top of the structural position, right? Um, so yeah. Uh, okay. So apparently there will be like changes in the containment procedures uh, proposed by O5-9 as well as Doctor Cartwright. I don't know O5-9 who who he is or who she is. Or who they are and Cartwright, I also don't know who uh, they are as well. The vote will occur in 25 minutes. Okay, so it's interesting because obviously it will not be in 25 minutes, right? Um, not literally 25 minutes, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that um, this is probably just random number, right? Just random uh, countdown, I guess. But that's not really the case over here. Um... Anyway, uh, in containment of 4669, all ways and other known methods of ingress and egress to the library are to be monitored by MTF uh, U58 and members of Goal 5869, Gamers Against Weed, confirmed or otherwise are to be summarily executed. 
all groups working with goal 5869 will be considered instances of dash 2 oh i see so um okay so 5869 um is uh gamers against weed okay uh it's probably like a group of stuff right uh, a group of people i guess um Confirm our ways are to be summarily executed. Okay, so they are considered as harmful, I would say. Um, at least harmful to the perspective of the O5, right? O5 agents or something like that. Um, and then every people, I guess, or every groups that working with um, the group of 5869 will be then considered as dash 2 okay that's also interesting as well so what is 4669 itself then right um here it says that uh library so is it library i'm not entirely sure we have to check that out after this right um anyway all marcos events suspected and otherwise are to be met with little force Neutralization of 4669 is allowed on discretion of MTF Upsilon 58 operatives. And in, any information related to Paul 6870, Jude Criot, or Blunt Fiend is to be immediately sent to the head of 4669 containment. Okay. Um, description Here we go. Uh, SCP 4669 is an alia. alia uh, Alia kinetic uh, there's a footnote there uh, number three uh, entity capable of creating instances of dash two through dash one oh okay um it creates the game apparently gamers against with okay so it's a group right uh instances of that i guess it creates that through dash one so what is dash one itself right uh i guess we'll get explain that later on uh, 4669 has the appearance of an average indigenous Mexican woman. Oh, it's actually a woman or a person or a human, right? The tattoo Miss Zapatista by Gamers Against Weed appears on the outside of its right thigh. Uh, okay, there's a um, tattoo, right? At the right thigh, okay. Uh, SCP-4669 is 1.6 meters tall and weighs 74 kilograms. That's actually quite, um, I would say, common, but then again, uh, no, it, it would be, I would say it would be common for males, but for women, um, I, I'm not really want to discuss about this, but um, it feels like she is uh, filled. By that, I mean, um, I guess she is kind of packed with, I don't know, probably muscle or something like that, right? Um, but yeah, but. 1.6 with 74 kilograms that's actually quite heavy if you ask me um yeah quite heavy right uh and also uh, again i'm not really trying to discredit anyone here right um because i myself is about 1.6 something about 170 i would say uh and i weigh about 80 right 80 kilograms that's about um what is it again in pounds 160 plus uh half of the uh, 176 uh, pounds i guess so yeah uh 74 kilograms will be um six kilo less it means it will be 132 kilo uh, pounds less which will be uh no not 132 uh 13.2 i mean so 176 76 minus 13 would it be 63 okay so it's about 163 pounds okay for 1.6 meters woman i guess um also yeah um uh, i guess mexican women right uh because I, I i'm not sure what they are speaking or the language probably uh, the language of mexican i guess um or maybe they also share spanish um i'm not entirely sure as well right but the fact that the title of this SCP was called, um, there's a senorita, right? So I think senorita is supposed to be like a woman or something like that. Because I remember the song, right? The song uh, senorita from uh, Camila Capello, I think, with Shawn Mendes, I think, right? Uh, it's called senorita, right? Um, so yeah. Um, anyway, uh, SCP-4669 uses Alia Kinesis. 
to orchestrate Marcos events. Okay, so what is Marcos events then? Uh, it's not really mentioned just yet. While also evading capture. Okay, so oh, okay, so four six six nine. Uh, this woman probably right when she was about to get captured or cat or caught, it will actually um conduct this um create this Marcos events right. Probably I would say then creates um dash two right. Uh, which possibly right. Um, if we go that way right. Uh, these events occur without discernible pattern throughout the world and include scheduled workers, strikes, uh, oh, workers, strikes, riots, protests, and targeted assassination. Um, okay, the stated goals of these events are to install communism as a worldwide economic system. Uh, okay, that's kinda out of nowhere but alright currently there are no methods to predict Marcos events while uh, 4669 employs a large network of test 2 instances to enact Marcos events the makeup of their organization um, has made it impossible for foundation intelligence to locate SCP-4669 through Marcos events okay uh, SCP-4669 secondary ability, oh that's actually interesting, is the creation of Dash 1. For purposes of documentation, recordings of 4669's voice can also be considered Dash 1. Dash 1's are statements made by 4669 during a Marcos event. Uh, Dash 1 instances are heard regardless of background sound and understood by any human capable of comprehending speech regardless of what language they are familiar with. Uh, Dash 1 is the catalyst for transformation into an instance of Dash 2. In Dash 2 instances, memories of Dash 1 cannot be expunged by any means, including amnestic therapy. Oh, okay, so um, that's why they are terminated inside, right? Because they cannot forget whatever Dash 1 has um implanted in their mind right uh okay dash two instances are baseline humans who have been affected by dash one or who have come into physical contact with 4669 dash two instances show extreme adherence to the goals and ideals of 4669 namely the belief in the full destruction of capitalism uh, all dash two instances have attempted to rejoin 4669 when free from foundation scrutiny, okay, okay, so basically, uh, Desto is like the severe uh, people that already changed their mind, right? Already, I would say, becomes fanatics, like, um, yeah, like they become fanatics, right? They are blinded by anything, and they will just do anything to fulfill their. Uh, goals right their um what is it their uh principle right which okay i guess that's a little bit dangerous right um no wonder if the foundation actually wanted to not wanted uh more like had to right had to terminate it, uh all of them right because i would say they are considered as uncurable after that so yeah there is no going back right excuse me i just uh three Okay, so Dash 1, um, what is Dash 1 again? Um, uh, recordings, okay, recordings of 4669's six, six, voice can also be considered a Dash 1. Dash 1's are statements made by 4669 during a Marcos event. Um, Dash 1 instances heard regardless of background sound and understood by any human. Okay, so it it's not a human it's more like a thing that or things that the woman said right um anything that comes out of 4669's mouth i would say it becomes dash one right any words any sentences any recordings any probably writings as well right uh but yeah but it's kind of interesting as well because um where is it again uh i think there is right uh where uh, where is it again um 
where is thing that dash one uh, all witness of four six six nine or dash one instances are to be administered. Oh, okay. So um, dash one, I I thought that this was supposed to be six six nine four six six nine also dash one right, which is the witness. But apparently that's not the case. So it's just the witness or people that um, see or hear. 4669 says things right and those things are test ones so people that witness that um only go only be administered uh, you know only given at admin or administ administered by uh, class b amnestics right okay so they are not test two just yet uh, they might be but they are not at the moment right they are just witness maybe they can actually become prone to be changed or converted into dash 2 but uh, there's that right right so yeah um anyway there's that okay so uh, uh, until here i actually kind of understand what this is about right uh, basically this is a woman that has um the thoughts right the thoughts that are um, basically saying that communism is better than capitalism right um economically speaking right uh, so this woman or this scp um will try to implant the idea of that into people right uh into you know like saying things which then considered as test one and etc right uh, however for those unfortunate people or victims that already got affected by 4669 or this woman um they cannot go back right they becomes uh they become one as the idea right they become fanatics and they will try their best to um you know like uh, apply that those ideas right uh, about those economical thing right um so yeah i guess that's the purpose of 4669 i guess uh but yeah anyway that's until here right okay next actually continue i only have 15 minutes left but all right uh test two instances are baseline oh this is actually um okay all right okay so i already read that as well incident 4669 141 i don't know what 141 means is it actually incident there is actually there are incidents for 669 test 1 test 2 test 3 until 141 uh, is that the case i'm not entirely sure uh, usually the numbering at the um uh after the scp uh number it means it is a sequential like uh you know test 1 instances test 2 instances etc etc right uh, but yeah, now that there is incident 141, I don't know if that's the 141st incident or not, right? I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, anyway, the following is transcript of a phone call to a pizza hut in Portland, Oregon, which occurred on um, April 10th, 2038. Oh, okay, so this is in the future. Interesting. Foundation AI uh, Kurokin uh, 3 during a routine sweep detected information relating to possible 2293 contamination okay so it's probably connected to that as well i'm not entirely sure the individual was deemed to be paul 686870 okay so that's the um the group up there that we already mentioned right uh pizza Hut employee hi there uh would you like to try uh, and then paul 6870 uh, did you know that world-renowned renown, writer Stephen King was once hit by a car? Just something to consider. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Gosh, I'm sorry. I was talking to a friend. Usually those commercial things are longer. Oh, uh, anyway, I think I'd like the... Uh, I have a coupon here. I think I can find it. Just hold for a second. No problem. Uh, spoken away from the reserve, but audible. Mr. Ominous, Mr. Meme, Mr. Literal, Serial Kill, Killer, Mr. Bernie Sanders. Uh, pardon me, sir. If I could remember Armanda's last name, I bet that would ping something. Uh, are you talking to me? At this point, the call was picked up by Kroken3. Due to the actions of past AI in dealing with Paul 6870, control of the conversation is sent to Dr. Garcia. Um, call didn't drop, but it's silent. Uh, God, it's just like last time. I feel like a spy. Are you gonna try to kill me with some mean sound again? Uh, footnote 4. 
uh, okay or are you gonna let me talk to you like a human being over here I got something for you info ways uh, Dr. Garcia hello Mr. Kriot uh, we'd really like to apologize for last time certainly else well may resent having to scan the internet for well Stephen King jokes but since then we've gotten things a little better under control personality wise anyway okay uh, pretty frank for the janitor aren't you I believe you had information for us Mr. Zap Miss Zapatista's doing it doing what uh, direct action is important don't get me wrong uh, the sound of a lighter is heard Paul 6870 pauses um, I want to go where she's going but I don't know if I can a bit getting there like that this is this is the only thing I'll do I I want her to succeed but sometimes I don't know if it should be like this 10 seconds of silence uh, the voice during those protests the voice during those riots the voice that spoke after oh spoke that Afrikaner piece of crap um, footnote 5 okay uh, into the stratosphere it's all been her it's been one you made it not me but a few of us but she's her own woman and she's going to do whatever she can to make the world just and right this is all the help I think I can give you morally I um, I don't know what to do here morally okay five second pause she's just a woman she's not stranger than anyone else you see on the street but her voice her words are so beautiful she's not a goddess ending capitalism is worthwhile but not like this not mean um, okay so this person the poll 6 at 70 uh, they actually describe the woman as the 4669 right uh, but yeah also I'm going to scroll a little bit just to know who 6870 again I kind of forgot already right okay so um, 6870 where is it 6870 um, okay that's cool right call 5869 okay so it's a group right um, group of people I would say but I'm not seeing 6870 so it could be something oh this is in information related to Paul 6870 or Jude Create. oh this is the person oh okay so it's a person it's Jude, Jude Create, I guess um, and this is talking to the Pizza Hut delivery guy or Pizza Hut employee and then because there is this um, call like suspicious call it got changed I guess uh, or picked up by this uh, GRGN3 right which is the AI I would say that this AI can detect if any of these calls uh, you know like uh, randomly call to someone right and then it got redirected into and sent into Dr. Garcia, right? Uh, which is technically the, um, I think Dr. Garcia is um, the, what is it called? The foundation, the SAP foundation employee, I think, or the researcher, right? But yeah, anyway, uh, there's that. Uh, 30 second pause, a lighter is heard. Um, she's going to be in Nakar Nicaragua tomorrow. Don't ask how I know, there's going to be another big one, but that's what she does, she knows the best parts to make this happen. Get the ball rolling for a worldwide revolution. They all might seem disconnected, but the voice, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, we are familiar with the phenomenon, correct? While the source of the voice was assumed to be belong to a humanoid entity of some kind, she's a lady. Uh, we had no real reason to guess it was doing this too, well, jumpstart anything specifically. Uh, she's building an army. I, I never thought we'd do something like this. It's right what she's doing. It's right, but she's ruthless. They made her too willing to do whatever needed. Uh, it's not atrocity, but but I can't let anyone else die. Uh, why are you telling us this? I can't have another life on my hands. Is there anything more you can tell us? It was inevitable that there will be a split. You know, that's what leftists do. We have a clear, beautiful vision, and so when we hit that first disagreement, we split. Uh, anything at all to help us? Anything at all? She's a comrade, I've said enough. Uh, Paul 6870 or Jude Create disconnects the line. Foundation agents arriving on scene were unable to locate uh, Jude Create. The payphone the call had been traced to had been out of service for over three months. Okay, so yeah, there is that, I guess. 
uh, recover document for 669-1 oh before doing that i guess um i might want to try to recall again just recap right um okay so uh 6870 right i don't know who 6870 is i'm not sure if 67 6870 is actually dash ones or dash twos i don't think so right so what is the correlation between uh this poll um poll 6870 i don't even know what poll means honestly is it like police is it like poll i don't know anything right uh 6870 right but i know for sure the name is jude create right um and there's that anyway okay so yeah i guess there's that um so basically 6870 doesn't really like what the 4669's doing right about um you know making this trying to make this revolution right trying to take over capitalism and convert it into communism right well obviously some people might actually might actually agree with this idea right but since this is not actually their probably true ideology therefore doing this kind of stuff will be um i would say will be quite revolutionary right if it actually successfully happened right but i would say that they will not let this happen um by they i mean the nation or the country i don't think so therefore um you know there's that right and then because 4669 is aware about that therefore uh this lady the 4669s probably they just uh she just what is it like brainwashed people right into making an army just like this side over here says so building an army right an army of people or collectives people of people that um are forced to um favor into communism instead of capitalism right but yeah there's that um so that's what i'm getting from those conversation now um oh actually yeah i'm i'm sorry but apparently that's all the time that i've got for today's um episode or uh, i guess episode of racer and the review there's still much more talks over here right there's more um this is more like a script of agenda and then there's also another uh, what is it conversation and then there's this letter over here and then that's it right but yeah we'll actually continue this in the next one um in the next part i guess so yeah this has been part one of scp4669 which is something senorita de la oh okay so it was about revolution as well right uh or is it revolution yeah i think right uh or something like that. i don't know right but yeah um so yeah it's about a uh, revolution right idea i guess um or uh women try to conduct revolutionary act i guess right but also before we actually end um uh, i would say this is scp 4000 right 4000 is actually quite a while ago if you ask me it is about 2018 2019 so the fact that SCP-4000 um, is that time, I'm not sure what it means, right? By that, I mean, I'm not sure where this, uh, where the reference of this SCP came from, right? Like, um, did this come from, I don't know, like maybe elec election thing, you know, like a presidential election that happened in uh, 2020 um, 20, uh, or 2016, I'm not sure, right? but yeah um i'm not sure like what's the reference of this right um is there actually a mexican woman in real life that is doing this thing right uh is that actually a thing or not right or maybe it was different race it's not mexican probably but you know just because this is scp therefore they you know the author wanted to uh change a little bit right um so that it's not the same race and instead just pick another race right but yeah um it, it's possibility again i don't know what's the background or the um reasons or the reference of making this sap right you know maybe this is actually original idea right like there is no there is not at all reference that uh use reference into this 
um, I'm not sure, right? Uh, but it's possibility as well, but I doubt it. But yeah, um, anyway, uh, I think that'll be it. Uh, this has been Razer Random SCP Review Episode 16 or Entry 16. Uh, SCP uh, entry number 16 but yeah uh, again I have been uh, gone for a month I think the last time I recorded this uh, so I'm sorry if something is a little bit different right uh, I'm just adjusting right but yeah um, anyway until then thank you guys for watching this has been uh, a random SCP review or racer uh, stay safe stealthy I will see you again very soon and see ya